welcome back to my channel dear students so today we are going to talk about graphical solution of simultaneous linear equations okay so so far we learned three methods to solve simultaneous equation so this time we are going to add one more method and that method is called graphical solution right okay now you are already familiar with straight lines from coordinate geometry so if you have forgotten then the link of the earlier videos will be given in the description you can have a look at them again okay. okay and when i was looking at the problems in this particular exercise that is 27a i found out that most of the sums we have already done in the straight lines of coordinate geometry okay so those problems you will try by yourself okay and definitely you will be able to do now we will begin with the first problem for the day that is question number three so in question number three you are asked to draw the graph of the straight line given by the equation this one okay and we already know how to draw graphs for this one right so what do we do we form a table right so we are going to do the same out here as well right okay so let's begin okay so this is my equation and what do i do i'll find the value of y from here okay so just simplify you just have a look at the steps and the value of y is going to be 36 plus 4x whole divided by 3 okay now the table to form the table what we do is i'll take different values for x for example here i am showing when x is equal to minus 9 what happens so when x is equal to minus 9 then instead of x i am writing minus 9 okay now simplify this so when you simplify this you will have plus into minus is minus 4 into 9 is 36 okay so 36 minus 36 is 0 so 0 by 3 will be 0 that means the value of y is going to be 0 when x is minus 9 okay so similarly you will check for various values for 9 what will be the value of y okay so from the equation the corresponding table is somewhat like this that means when you put x equals to minus 3 then the value of y is going to be 8 when you put x equals to minus 6 the value of y is going to be 4 okay now from the table we have got different coordinates one is minus 9 comma 0 so let's plot minus 9 comma 0 so it will be lying somewhere over here now similarly the other one is minus 3 comma 8 so minus 3 comma 8 lies somewhere over here similarly we have got Another that is minus 6 comma 4 which likes which lies somewhere over there now after plotting them what do i do i'll keep one scale align these three points and join them with a straight line right so this is the line 4x minus 3y plus 36 equals to 0 now you are asked to calculate the area of the triangle formed by the line drawn that is this blue line and the coordinate axis the coordinate axis means x-axis and y-axis so basically there's a triangle you can see out here so they are asking you to find the area of this triangle the triangle formed by the line and the coordinate axis that is y-axis and x-axis okay so let's do that part so I'm naming that point to be a b okay and this is already o okay now if you count from here from 0 to this point a you'll have exactly 12 divisions okay and similarly if you count from here to here it's going to be exactly 9 division you will verify this in your graph sheet fine so let's begin so the straight line cuts the coordinate axis that is x-axis and y-axis at a that is 0 comma 12 that is the coordinate of this is going to be 0 comma 12 and b that is minus 9 comma 0 fine okay so area of triangle a o b a o b so this particular triangle will have area goes to half into base into height yes that is half into base basis okay so you can call this a space and this will be your perpendicular or height okay so base into height so let us put the value so a o is 12 o b is 9 so simplify this you will get 54 square units okay so your area is 54 square units pause the video to note down 
let's have a look at next question so use the given table to draw the graph so this is a table which is already given and you just need to draw the graph okay but here in the table we have got a and b also given which are unknown to us okay so whenever we have got a and b we'll omit that and we'll make use of the other coordinates to draw the graph so basically we have got minus y comma minus 2 one coordinate another one is 3 comma 2 and another one is 13 comma 7 so we'll make use of these three in order to draw the graph so let's see so we have got our graph paper ready x-axis y-axis drawn so we'll draw the three points that is minus 5 comma 2 3 comma 2 and 13 comma 7 so after drawing them you take the scale, align the three points and join them with a straight line. Fine. Okay, so we are done with the first part. So we have already drawn the graph. Now, according to the question, from your graph, you need to find the values of A and B. Okay. Now, A is written here. That means, when the value of X is minus 1, when the value of X is minus 1, the value of Y is A. That is the meaning of this. Okay. So whenever you have such cases, what you need to do is, you take x equals to minus a. Okay, so x equals to minus a is a line which is parallel to y axis. Okay, parallel to y axis somewhere over here and which is lying at a distance of minus 1. So, first you need to draw the graph of x equals to minus 1. So, x equals to minus 1 looks somewhat like this. Now, after drawing this, what you need to do is you need to check the point of intersection of the blue line and this x equals to minus 1. So they are intersecting exactly at this point. Yes. And find what is the coordinate of this. So it's going to be minus 1 comma 0. Right. So x is minus 1 and I am getting y to be 0. So when x is minus 1, the value of y is turning to be 0. So that's why a will be zero is that clear okay so we found the value of a now let's find the value of b now x will be b when y equals to 5 so what we do is we'll draw the graph for y equals to 5 so y equals to 5 looks somewhat like this okay now after drawing what you need to do is you need to find the point of intersection so this is the point of intersection okay and find the coordinate of this okay so if you find the coordinate of this you'll find that this is 9 comma 5 okay so that means x will be 9 when y is 5 okay so when y is 5 x is 9 so what is the value of b b turns out to be 9 is that clear okay so we are done with the second part as well now the third part says state a linear relation between the variables x and y so linear relation means we know that linear relation that is the equation of a line can be written as y equals to mx plus c right so let the let y equals to px plus q here i am not writing x plus c if you want to write that also fine okay so let y equals to px plus q let me call this as one be a linear relation between x and y so i am just assuming it now i need to find the value of p and q from this okay so let's find the value of p and q now substituting x equals to 9 and y equals to 5 okay so we know that when x is equals to 9 the value of y is going to be 5 okay so that's why i am substituting x equals to 9 and y equals to 5 in 1 let's see what do we get so we get instead of y i have 5 and instead of x i have 9 okay so i'm getting this and i'm calling this to be equation 2 now let me take another value that is when x is equals to minus 1, we know that y will be 0. Okay, so let's put this value in 1. So x is minus 1 and y is 0. So if I put the values, then I'll get this much. So y is 0, x is minus 1, so you'll get this much. So I'm calling this to be equation 3. Now let's subtract 3 from 2. That means I'll subtract this from this. So if I do that, what do I get? I'll get... 5 equals to 10p just verify by yourself okay so q and q gets cancelled so you will change the sign so this minus becomes plus so 
9p plus p becomes 10p so 5 minus 0 becomes 5 okay so find the value of p from here which turns out to be 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 okay so we got the value of p now we need to calculate the value of q right so the value of q can be calculated from 3 okay so from 3 we have p equals to q right so if i take this minus p over there it becomes p so p equals to q so we know that p is half so that's why q will also be half okay so ultimately what you do is you'll substitute the value of p and q which are half in equation one okay so if you do that then you'll get the linear relation to be y equals to x plus one whole divided by two okay so put the value of p to be half and q also to be half simplify it you'll get this much so this is your answer so pause the video to note down let's move on to the next one so again a straight line passes through two points so taking one centimeter equals to one unit mark these points on the graph paper and draw a straight line through these points so again what you need to do is okay so one more thing is given so if points m minus 4 and 3 comma n lie on the line drawn find the values of m and n okay so basically what is happening is if you draw the table the when the value of x is 2 the value of y is 4 right similarly when x is 4 the value uh, when x is 5 the value of y is minus 2 from here okay similarly when x is m the value of y is minus 4 okay when x is 3 the value of y is n so this is the table which can be drawn using these four points okay now we'll take a graph paper so according to question we need to plot these two points so i have plotted them and you need to draw a straight line through these points so let me draw straight line through these points fine now you need to calculate the value of m and n like earlier what am i going to do so when x is equals to 3 the value of y is going to be n so basically i am going to draw the straight line x equals to 3 so this is the line which is parallel to y axis right so draw a line x equals to 3 parallel to y axis to meet the line so this is the line okay and you need to find the point of intersection that is this one okay and you will find the coordinate of this okay so you'll find that the coordinate of this is going to be 3 comma 2 okay that means when x is 3 the value of y is going to be 2 so that's why the value of n is going to be 2 is that clear okay so we'll go to the next case that is we'll find the value of m now the value of x is going to be m if y is equals to minus 4 so here we are going to draw y equals to minus 4 so now draw what line y equals to minus 4 parallel to x axis to meet the line so this is my y equals to minus 4 so we'll find the point of intersection right so this is the point of intersection and its coordinate is going to be 6 comma minus 4 okay so when x is 6 then the value of y is going to be minus 4 so that's why the value of m is going to be 6 so that's why the values of m and n are 6 and 2 respectively so pause the video to note down okay so i'm directly going to the 10th problem the first one so use graphical method to find the value of k okay so if k minus 3 lies on the straight line this one so basically i'm going to draw the line 2x plus 3y on a graph paper okay so draw your corresponding table for this particular equation okay take graph paper now from here minus 1 1 2 comma 1 2 comma minus 1 8 comma minus 5 i'm going to plot with these three points on the graph paper which are lying somewhat like this now i'll take the scale align the points and draw the straight line okay now what the question is saying is k minus 3 also lies on the line that means when the value of x is k the value of y is going to be minus 3 okay so i am taking y equals to minus 3 okay and drawing in the graph paper okay so y equals to minus 3 will be somewhat like this so i am going to find the point of intersection okay so point of intersection is going to be 1 2 
two three four five i think it's going to be five if you count right so it's going to be five comma minus three right so when the value of y is minus three the value of x is going to be five so that's why the value of k will be five okay so you may pause the video to note down we'll go to the next problem okay so in this case again you are asked to find the value of k so let's see the table of this so the table of this will look somewhat like this take the graph paper plot these points 1 comma 1 3 comma 2 minus 5 comma minus 2 so i have plotted them and joined them with a straight line right so according to the question 5 comma k minus 2 also lies on this that means when the value of x is 5 the value of y is going to be k minus 2 okay so x equals to 5 will draw that line so x equals to 5 looks somewhat like this exactly at a distance of 5 yes so find the point of intersection okay so which turns out to be 5 1 2 3 yes so the value of y is going to be 3 so basically when x is 5 k minus 2 the value of y is going to be 3 right so the value of k minus 2 is 3 right so from here if you take this minus 2 over there you will get k equals to 5 so the value of k will be 5 here okay so the sums are pretty easy here so have a look at the sums which have not been covered here but most of the problems you have already done in your coordinate geometry straight lines chapter okay so you may see those problems and practice at home so whatever is done today make sure that you will copy everything and send it to me thank you very much